This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona, formerly Wheel Kinetics. We recently did a rebranding. Please watch, look at our ad and click on the blogs. It'll give you information on why and how we rebranded, as well as blogs on bulletproof, um, uh, increased car values, etc. Some interesting stuff. Anyway, uh, this is an 05 F350 crew cab dually, obviously. It's a 60 turbo diesel, it's four wheel drive. It's a uh, King Ranch uh, leather package, and it's the FX4 off road suspension. It uh, has 175,795 miles. It was a win-win financial repo from Houston, Texas. We purchased it, brought it to Tucson, um, needed the following. We took it to our shop, Monsoon. Um, it had uh, a leaky uh, timing cover. So while we were there, it also had an injector, number four injector, was just off on the contribution. Um, it wasn't bad enough to really, almost nobody would do that. Uh, that injector based on the numbers. It wasn't a check engine light or anything, but it was off enough to where we knew it was probably gonna go out at some point soon. So while we were there, we did both valve cover gaskets and number four injector. Um, we also did the uh, timing cover gasket, which was where the leak was. Um, glow plugs, vacuum pump, new starter, and a detail. It still needs a new ignition. The, uh, our key company was late and this thing came back from detail and it's so big we can't put it inside um so i don't want it to get dirty before the before i do the video so we are still doing a uh, ignition so when you look in the video and you see that it's got uh a weird ignition that's because probably the repo man uh repoed it with a screwdriver broke the ignition so that's what's up all right point of these videos the point of what I'm doing here is to make sure that whatever's wrong is known uh, we're not trying to uh, get over on anybody we have plenty of people who will buy this truck with any issues it has we don't need to uh, BS to make a sale happen uh, the only thing that'll kill us is if we uh, sell a vehicle and we don't tell people what's what's going on then we're in trouble okay so uh, we don't and Somebody's gonna buy a hell of a truck. Um, I'll show you the Carfax, I'll show you the title, I'll show you the repo affidavit, you'll see everything. Um, we'll go into the hood, we'll look for the Ford stamps on the fenders and the hood to make sure that everything's original parts. 175,860. And we're going to uh, get some air conditioning going here because it's freaking hot as freaking hell right now. It's uh, like 10 in the morning and it's already easily 102 or three. All right, first of all, here's the uh, invoice. We paid $2,021 to uh, Monsoon Automotive. Start with the baby stuff. They did the wiper blades, rear rotors and disc uh, and, and brake pads. Fuel injector, that's just one fuel injector, okay? Um, valve cover gaskets. Glow plugs. Engine timing gasket. Uh, vacuum pump and starter, okay? Here are the uh, couple of the uh, invoices. There's the injector, right, from Home Subtle. And there's the starter from Merle's, okay? Um, all this stuff will be have links to see all this stuff uh, in our ad also. Um, here's the Carfax history of events affecting this vehicle's value. Basically, Carfax blends the Carfax with the Kelly. They come up with a value of $19,340. Seems low based on what I'm seeing at auctions lately. I think dealers would pay that, but that's up to you, all right? No accidents reported. That's kind of why we ran all 40 of our, almost our entire action, our, our, our entire inventory to uh, the auction a month ago because uh, retail buyers were paying less than uh, dealers, <laughs> which is weird. And uh, now we're building our inventory back up again after making a fortune off of dealers. Um, apparently the public wanted to pay less than the dealers and still do. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Anyway, this car, this truck's been around like uh, Arkansas, Colorado, Idaho. I would say this thing just pulled a little RV trailer type of thing around the country, and that would be that. Okay. Here's the title. It was a win-win financial. This guy was the repo uh, victim. He wilded out his last name. There's a statement of repossession from Win-Win. Right. Now you've seen the. Uh, Paperwork. All right, 
This is important. Ford stamp. Why is it important? Because if it was wrecked, they would replace them and they don't put Ford fenders back on vehicles. Too expensive. There's a Ford stamp here, here. Should be another one right here. Should be another one right here. And should be one on the hood right there. There you go. Did the timing cover, both valve cover gaskets, and uh, number four injector. Okay? All right, there's your window up and down. Let's see, forward, back, up, down, tilt forward. By the way, this stuff was in the glove box, and I didn't want it rattling around when we go on our terrible road out here. It's up, down, up, down. Here's your heated seat on and off. Thank you. By the way, those things around the door handle are to prevent uh, car thieves from breaking into your car. It keeps them from getting a little jimmy tool underneath the door handle. The seats are in great shape. Very unusual for King Ranch seats to be in that good of shape. Tells me if you bought some saddle soap and some conditioner for this thing, you could make them look almost brand new because they were obviously well taken care of. They usually are just really dry and look terrible by now, but these look pretty good. Actually, they look excellent. You know. Okay, mirrors out, in, up, down, other side, out, in, up, and down. Door locks. There you go. Heated seat on and off. Seat forward, back, up, down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down. I want the seat up a little higher there. Even the driver's seat, it looks like at some point the previous owner did a repair right here, which is kind of normal. This piece looks not original. We didn't do that, but it looks good. So he cared enough to do that. There's your pedals up and down. There's your tilt wheel. Oh my God, that air conditioning's awesome. Gotta close the door. I don't wanna go anywhere without the buzzer going off. All right, tilt the wheel down, the seatbelt on. All right, it's got a little map thing in here. I This is like an aftermarket, uh, um, whatchamacallit, a uh, aftermarket uh, mirror. We're on Gardner Lane. That's kind of cool. I haven't even tried to mess with this thing. There's menu. Oh, there you go. Huh, kind of cool. Um, let's see. All right. We have radio. Let's see if we have radio from here. In Malaysia that studied this particular herb, Tonkin Ali, uh, government uh, scientists. All right. Because this is... Mode. That's scanning. This is from the steering wheel. Uh, see, radio works fine. Here's, uh, maybe it doesn't. Huh. Oh, there it is. I thought maybe the radio didn't work. There's your fan up and down. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, fan up and down. Temperature up and down. It is missing the face of the, of the cup holder, which is kind of interesting. I'm not even sure if we can, yeah, someone broke the face of the cup. So you have to buy a new cup uh, holder cover or whatever. Um, but, but what else? Let's see, let's try these. Steering controls for the AC fan up and down, temperature up and down, rear window, there's that. Tow on and off, um, what else? We have cruise control here on the, on the Ford, you have to be moving. There's your windshield wipers. Neutral, let's go to four low. All right. That's four low and then reverse. Okay. 
neutral. So it goes from low to four high. Drive, sit four high, and reverse. Boom. I did see a, a rear backup camera on the back of this thing, but I'm not sure how to how to make that setting or if it even works. Just assume it doesn't work, but it probably does. What does go mean? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, that's your deal. All right, let me put it back into two-wheel drive. Four by four goes away. Now we're going to go for a ride. All right, and like I said, this road is terrible, which is why I took the stuff out of the glove box, all those brackets and stuff that were in there, because uh, we're basically four-wheeling right now. <laughs> this is what we pay 8.7% taxes for so that we can have our teeth rattle out of our head going down a road. Um, anyway, um, if you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, uh, you will pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, there'll be no dock fee. Uh, nothing okay um, if you need help with shipping please let me know at the time of purchase we can roll the price of the shipping into the truck um, or uh, you can do it yourself maybe we just you know all you need is a couple phone numbers to call to do it yourself we can do that for you too all right uh, deposits $500 once we have a deposit we have a deal until we have a deposit it will stay for sale so please make sure you get your deposit in uh, this will be a very popular truck these things are not around anymore all right um, and you know, six, seven Dooley King ranches with 200,000 miles are bringing 30. <laughs> I mean, it's out of control right now, the price of vehicles right now. So uh, if you're on this, get on it and get your deposit in, okay? Be serious about it because uh, the whole shopping around thing is kind of like buying houses for Tucson right now. Um, it's very difficult. You know, my mom is in real estate here. Normally at this time of year, we have 10,000 uh, homes for sale in Pima County. Right now we have 900 and only half of those are single family homes. And basically it's an auction. People just throw in their offers. It's kind of the same thing with vehicles. I don't, I don't know where you're living watching this, if it's the same thing in your town, but here vehicles are very, very hard to come by. Um, I think it's pretty much that way everywhere. So if you really need a dually, get it on with this one all right get it in, get it done you need to uh get the deposit in if you're if you really want a nice truck and you know because dawdling will probably cost you um so anyway deposits 500 bucks last part of every video i say the same thing every single time we don't have a salesman we don't have bottled water with our name on it we don't have a fancy location you just saw where we came from uh we don't have uh an attendant serving scones and lattes and and uh hanging out and game rooms and stuff they got that at the auto mall we're about a half a mile west of there right now and because they have to pay for all that stuff obviously you're paying more for a vehicle to pay for all that crap um, they also know there that if you they sold you this truck um, and it broke you would bring it in and say god i just paid a fortune for this truck i just paid twenty three thousand dollars for this truck uh you know i want an injector fixed or i want the AC compressor, I want a door lock, or I want a mirror switch, or I want a blah, or I want a blah. And they're fine with that because one of the other things they charge you for up front is $500 to $700 uh, for future repairs. So when you come in, they just fix it, or they take it back and sell it to somebody else. They don't care, okay? Well, we're not charging for that crap because we're not fixing your truck. I know that every vehicle that we're passing here, every single one of them that we're driving around on this planet Earth will break. It's when, okay? And because we give you so much information, this video, um, Carfax, title, every bit that we know, we expect you to be the owner on day one, okay? Um, if you can't do that and you wanna check for something, you know, the day it shows up, they didn't tell me that blah, 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 then we're not gonna get along because you're not getting a check, okay? We don't have a single vehicle in our inventory. You gotta go pay a lot more money for a vehicle and then you can uh, call and complain, okay? This truck is awesome, obviously. I mean, this is a one-ton truck, and it's got a beautiful ride, too, which is, it's nice, really nice ride. Um, but it's not perfect. It will break eventually. It's just when, you know? Um, is it gonna break, you know, 
in a month, in 10 years, I don't know. Based on having driven thousands and thousands, probably tens of thousands of 6.0s, I like this one, all right? Some of them I don't like so much. This one I do, I like this one a lot. Um, and generally my spider senses are pretty strong. Um, anyway, um, b -b 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 just know that uh, you're the owner on day one, that's the rules. And for all, for all the money you're saving, uh, some of that money will have to go into a repair eventually, you know. Um, vehicles have blow-by. Uh, this will have blow-by. 7.3s have blow-by. I saw a 6.7 yesterday with like 40,000 miles. It had tons of blow-by. It was beautiful. I mean, every vehicle is different, okay. Um, it really is how they run and perform. And, uh, you know, I think we headed off with an injector that was going to go bad pretty soon. Um, I know we took care of the leaking issue that it had um, and the starter and uh, this will be new. It'll have a new ignition pretty soon, hopefully today. Um, and that's that. All right. Anyway, I'm, my videos end at uh, 17 minutes and this is a big speed bump right here. I forgot about this. Got airborne there. <laughs> um, 17 minutes and 38 seconds. So we're at 16 minutes. I'm on my way to pick somebody up who's uh, doing some electrical work at our place. So we'll just keep going here and I'm gonna shut up and you can watch the video. This is kind of a bad neighborhood right here. By the way, you kind of want to make sure that you don't get out of your car over here. <laughs> That's a good way to get killed here. He just gave me that, oh, thanks, man. Nice hat. That guy looks like someone out of uh, Mariachi, uh, the Mariachi uh, uh, movie where they shoot everyone up. All right. Try to get a little more gas here before the next speed bump. Which is right there. Almost out of time here. Thank you very much for your time. A hell of a nice truck. Thank you.